morning everybody welcome back to my channel unless you're new then hello my name is Tori so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different at the beginning of 2021 I mentioned that I wanted to kind of start talking about mental health a little bit more on my channel this year has definitely been a little bit of a weird one so I wanted to take this chance to kind of catch you up on at least how the quarantine affected my mental health while I'm bleaching my hair so it is that time of the year again where I need to touch up my roots because they are starting starting to get a little bit long. So you can kind of tell my roots are probably like an inch maybe an inch and a half long. So it has been roughly like three-ish months, I think, since the last time I touched up my roots. So it is just that time to do it again. However, I wanted to do something a little bit different for this video. So instead of just sitting here and showing you guys how I bleach my hair and upkeep my hairstyle, I'm going to be doing that. But I'm also going to be talking about mental health a little bit, mainly because I think now is a good time for me to talk about it. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. So in case you guys just wanted to see me bleach my hair I will include a video up in the corner I don't know which corner it is I will never know which corner it is if I'm being honest with you but I'll link a video of me just bleaching my hair in case you guys don't want to listen to mental health rants since we are talking about mental health a few trigger warnings I will be talking about body issues also a little bit of harassment so if either of those topics trigger you don't watch this video before I start talking about mental health I'm just going to go ahead and get ready to bleach my hair because I'm gonna be doing it at the same time so the problem products I am using is um, Clarial, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, I'm really bad at English in case you guys haven't noticed and I don't know how, but I use BW2 Extra Strength Powder Lightener and then I mix it with their 20 volume developer. So let me go ahead and mix this together and then we will begin our rant because I have some things to talk about. So I went ahead and parted my hair, I left my bangs out. This is what it looks like. But if you use the same brand that I did, your bleach should turn out very fluffy. So if it does not turn out fluffy and it turns out very watery, you need to add more bleach powder. And while you're mixing it, if you still see a little bit of like clumps, you should one, obviously try to mix those clumps out. However, if that's not working, add a little bit more of your volume developer. So mental health. So I'm gonna have to start a little bit before quarantine. So before quarantine, my mental health was a little poopy. Definitely not as bad as it is now, but right before quarantine, I found out that one of my friends was not speaking too kindly about me. I uh, were saying kind of negative things about my body slash my physical appearance, and that fucking hurt. <laughs> It kind of hurts. Whether this be a dude telling you this, a girl telling you this, literally anybody, a non-binary person telling you this, your mom, your fucking dad, your sister, literally anybody telling you that your face is meh or your physical appearance is meh is going to hurt you a little bit. So for the first like good couple of months, I was so fucking sad. And it wasn't because, um, this was actually a guy friend who says this, said this about me. It wasn't because it was a dude saying this about me. When I would tell people this, they would be like, why are you listening to a dude? It had nothing to do with the fact that it was a man. <laughs> I was more hurt that this was one of my friends saying this about me, you know? Um, so since then, he has apologized for saying that stuff about me. The only way I could describe it is, you know the movie Soul? I think that's what it was called. The movie where, like, these little souls would be able to go down to earth once they found like their passion in life. At the very end of the movie, the one soul that is supposed to be like finding their like a uh, motive in life and like what they want to do and like why they like living just has all of these people yelling at them saying they're not good enough. That part of the movie made me cry so bad but that's how it felt <laughs> where it's like great and it's just the one thing to s keep repeating in your head and just you're not pretty enough to do this. That happened <laughs> at the very, very, not even in quarantine, in fucking January. That's how I started my 2020. Quarantine overall in 2020 was not bad. Um, I did end up moving out of a house that had a little bit of a stressful um, aura to it, I'll say that. So my boyfriend and I ended up moving into our first like house by ourselves which is pretty fun. And for the most part, 2020 quarantine wasn't too bad. Um, it was a little tough not being able to visit my family and like having to tell my family no, that I can't visit them. That sucked. <laughs> um, Cause I don't think you ever want to say, no, I don't want to visit you for Christmas. <laughs> like, I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody wants to tell that to anyone. So that was a little hard. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. 
especially if this was like your first Christmas without your fam. I was able to spend a little bit more time with my family this year, so that's pretty fun, pretty good. And then 2021 came along and 2021 has to be the most stressful, the most downhill for my mental health ever, ever in my life. I thought 2019 was bad when I had my wisdom teeth pulled out. I'll leave a video, I'll leave the link up in the corner. I thought that was bad. 2021, whole, whole new monster. I was gonna say the first time I dealt with being harassed, but that is a lie. <laughs> I've been harassed before, but this was the first time being harassed by someone and I knew that whole scenario completely messed up my mental health. Like completely messed it up. I can't open messages anymore. I used to be the type of person who would at least like look through my DMs and like kind of respond to people. And like I used to be very good at responding to text messages pretty quickly. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I can barely open up messages. I'm awful at texting now because I think I'm in trouble at all points of my life because the way that this person um, harassed is they would just send super mean text messages. Just super mean text messages randomly. So some days I would wake up and the first thing I see in the morning is super mean messages at myself <laughs> or messages like we need to talk so that is so alarming to wake up to yeah so that has affected my life in a pretty negative way and so i'm not gonna mention who this person is um if you know you know if you don't know you don't know <laughs> this person decided to just start texting my boyfriend and even me at one point just decided to start texting literally everybody. Maybe okay, not everybody. He has not messaged my mom yet, but he's messaged almost everyone else. <laughs> All of my friends who I hang out with in real life, super mean things. And also kind of like hinting that I'm going to cheat on my boyfriend, which makes me sad. <laughs> he also decided to call me ugly. So we are two for two. I've had two male friends in the last two years call me ugly, which is fun. I love that for myself. Why is that like the default thing to go to when guys are angry or upset with women? They just call them ugly. My mental health has been, right now, it's slowly going up, but it's like starting at zero. <laughs> so I, at the beginning of quarantine, minus the whole like proper beginning of quarantine, I was maybe at like a 60 out of 100 mental health wise. 2020, still 60, maybe going down to like 50. A good 2021 started to go back up, maybe like 70, 80%, pretty good. Um, April 2021, go down, <laughs> it went down to maybe like 60 again, like it started to go down. And then it stayed at 60 for a good long while. And then in August, when all this started happening, shut down, straight down. It's went probably down to zero by uh, Halloween because he was still messing with us. And it's not just him calling me names. Like that is what, for the most part, all of the messages are. But it's also like vague threats, <laughs> which scare me. Cause we've had letters already sent to our house. We've had our door opened by random people that we don't know. It makes me a little bit worried cause I'm already so paranoid that people are going to break into my house. So for someone to threaten to bother us or to send letters to our house, a little scary. <laughs> little bit worrying it makes me very anxious because now like i i don't even want to check the mail like i i know logically in my brain the chances of him sending me letters or sending me anything negative through the mail very low but still it's like the thought of like oh he's gonna threaten to send letters to your house oh okay that's scary like that is actively not something you do to people if you're having an issue with someone don't do that no don't don't do that friends i'm about done with my hair so i'm actually gonna go and put some bleach on like any of the little black sections that i got but i'm gonna go do that 
in a mirror because it's a lot easier to see and I'll be right back. So what would happen is he would message my boyfriend or one of my friends just saying mean things about me and I would tweet about it. It's a little funny because if it wasn't this person doing it to me, it'd be a lot more scary. But because it's this person doing it to me, I almost think it's funny in a very scary way. <laughs> Let me add that in a very scary way. I'm not just sitting here laughing about it. Um, has made me cry a couple of times due to just not feeling safe or just some of the things he said. Oh, I put cling wrap on my head and a little hat to kind of keep the heat in without destroying my hat. What would happen is uh, then I would tweet about it. He would see my tweets and then find that as an invitation to continue texting my friends negative things about me basically saying i saw tori tweet about me so i'm gonna say some more mean things about her and then i would see that and then i would tweet the new mean things and it was just a cycle up until the point that he messaged me and we talked we talked i don't really know i don't think we talked i basically just said hey if you're not gonna apologize for saying all these mean things about me just leave me alone and like stop messaging my friends like none of us want to hear it <laughs> none of us and he basically said no stop tweeting about me then i'll stop messaging people this is when he kind of a little bit threatened me so i tweeted like okay last time peace out guys i, I don't want to be threatened anymore and i was okay until the beginning of October when he started doing it again. Like in a Tory fashion, I started tweeting about it again and the cycle just started over. So I'm pretty sure even me just including this in my video, I'm gonna get some mean text, but that's okay. You know, we blocked him on everything. So we are going to leave this bleach on my head for around 30 minutes. I'm going to wash it out. And the only thing I am changing about my bleaching routine is I'm going to start using Oliplex number three on my hair after I bleach it. Due to all of the stress, especially the last like month or so, I've noticed my hair shedding a lot more now than I did like a year ago. And I do think it's because of stress because I've been so stressed out this year. <laughs> I've been so stressed out this year, especially the last like two month months, just so stressed out. Hopefully the rest of 2020 is better, but I will be back in roughly 30 minutes to show you how I applied the Oliplex on my hair and we will continue little mental health talk in like half an hour. Okay. Bye. Okay, so we are back. This is how light my hair ended up lifting. Um, I did get some on the back hair, but I really, I really don't care. I'm gonna be dyeing the rest of my hair black anyway, so I don't really care that this part's a little bit bleached. It's fine. So now I'm gonna be using Oliplex. This is number three. So I looked all over the internet because I know you were supposed to mix one of these into the bleach, but I think you have to be an actual like licensed cosmetologist to buy it. If anybody finds num where number one and two are available, please let me know. So the instruction says, after you are done bleaching your hair, you're going to apply the product onto towel damped hair and then leave it on for like 10, maybe a little bit longer. I'm gonna leave it on for 20 minutes just because my hair needs it. Like I mentioned before, my hair is falling out a little bit. So hopefully this makes it a little bit stronger. It does not say to use gloves. Like it doesn't say anywhere on the bottle that you have to use gloves, so I am not going to. So as I'm doing this, we are going to continue our little talk about mental health. I have absolutely no clue where I left off. I have to constantly remind myself that it is not my fault. The things that he is mad at me for, at least from what I can tell, I did not do so at least the things that he has talked to me about, I have not done. <laughs> and I have to constantly remind myself that it is okay to talk about things that people have done to you. That is 100% okay. In case anybody that is not me needs to be reminded, it is okay to talk about things that people have done to you. And you should not feel guilty. Um, because that is something that I've been dealing with is a lot of guilt of this is my fault because I keep mentioning what he's doing to me and that's also something that he tries to tell me like this is your fault because you started it when at the end of the day if he did not say or do these things to me i would not have tweeted out that he said or did them so i 
am going to leave this in my hair for 20 minutes and we will see how it turns out from there. I am also going to take this opportunity to wash my entire head because this side of my hair has not been washed in two weeks due to me just not having the energy to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely hard to wanna do anything when your hair is like actively dirty. Like I've been fighting myself to do anything, like literally anything, like even clean my room. I've been fighting myself to do these like basic, basic tasks for like a week. So uh, hopefully that gets better. Hopefully washing my hair makes me feel a little bit better. So while I'm waiting for 20 minutes, I'm gonna talk a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna rant a little bit more. So recently I've been trying to get back on like a healthy schedule where it's just still very hard for me to do anything. Like I wake up at like seven in the morning. I work out sometimes, very, very rarely. I'll actually go to like the gym then work out for like half an hour and then I'll get home I'll help my boyfriend with some things that he needs me to help him with and then I kind of just hang out and play games. That's been my schedule for the last couple of days because I just don't have the mental energy needed to sit down and film a video because I tend to only film videos that I actually want to and when I don't want to film a video, I do not film a video. <laughs> I do not film that video that day. Like I just don't, not in my mental capacity to do that. So I'm trying to get myself back into a good headspace because I was in a good headspace for a little bit this year towards the beginning where like I would go to the gym in the morning, come home, eat some breakfast, get things done, you know, actively do things. And now it's like hard for me to even want to do anything. Any, make my bed? Nah, I don't want to do that. Take a bath? No, I don't want to do that either. Go to the gym for half an hour? No, I don't want to get in my car. Literally drive to go get food? No, I don't want to do that either. I just want to sit at home. And so I'm trying to get back into a good health, mental health space, which is kind of hard. Like I said at the beginning, I do feel my mental health going up a little bit. It was at like zero <laughs> for a couple of months, like for like a month or two, which really sucked because one of those months was freaking October and I love October. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wait 20 minutes and then I will show you once I wash it out. And also I'll tell you how it feels because I've never used this product before, so I'm excited. And we are back. So this is how my hair turned out. Um, it is super blonde, so ignore like right here where it's kind of purple, I did do a little strand dye for the toner I was gonna use. However, as you could tell, it turned my hair kind of purple, so I'm gonna have to dilute it a little bit and then, oh my god, my cat's in my room. I didn't even know you were in here, Thomas. Um, so I am going to have to dilute it a little bit and then maybe try it out on the rest of my head. I definitely need to touch up the black side of my hair now because the roots right here are super red. So I don't know if you can see how red they are, but they are pretty red. I think I'm gonna wait like another day and then I'm actually going to go ahead and re-dye my hair. So thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you watched it all the way through. Thank you so much. For the Oliplex, this is now a must whenever I'm bleaching hair because it feels so nice. This side of my hair looks so much better it actually feels soft now compared to when I bleached it. It was feeling a little bit rough I feel a lot better now that I've washed my hair I definitely need to tone it a little bit to take out the little bit of yellow that is in there So I can actually have white and black hair again, but this isn't too bad I know the video was very ranty kind of all over the place But that's just how my brain has been the last couple of months So I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I will We'll see y'all later.